Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. And this video we're continuing playing the Microdimension map Flourishing Moss. And so last time we ended up in this desert over here. And I think we have to uh, find some sort of library. I think we already spotted it last time as well. I believe we came from there. And so let's just move over here. So I currently also have the shaders on, but I don't know if I'll keep them because it might be a bit too laggy, who knows. At least for now, we'll just head over to this library and things might look a little bit less beautiful once we get there. Also, this palm tree is beautiful, incredible. And so while we walk over to this library, this map was made by the Smickelaar. Thank you so much for making this map. It is really, really incredible. A lot of different command blocks and redstone going on. So here we go. Wow, you weren't kidding. It is large. We need to get into the restricted section of the library. You need to get keys to get in. All right. So here we are in the library. All right. <laughs> the library has just closed. We need four keys. And there is probably somebody behind me. Uh. Really scary. Yeah, there it is. That's the guy that will attack us. Now, I am curious if we can kill it. Ah, we can. Okay, all right, there's a staircase going down. Ah, right, here we need the keys. Okay, so this is what we need the keys for. Oh, hello. So I guess just keep going, hope we find some keys. Ah, there we go. We got one key, so I guess they're just in chests and that's good to know. Hey, there's the Smickler himself. Look at him. Got him. Ah, I got another key. Okay, just two more to go. Is this another one? Yes. Okay, that's three. That's three. Just one more. Hello. Oh, look at this. Our fourth key. We got him. Now we just need to get back to the staircase. Where was I? Yes. Okay, we found it. Nice, and look at that, the trapdoors can now be opened. Yes, let's go. All right, another staircase going even further down. It's getting dark. We'll keep going though. Or is this an endless loop? I, I have a feeling this is an endless loop. Oh no, no, there's light. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Look at that. Oh, what? What is this? Let's hit the button. That didn't do much. There's like a redstone dust maybe. That's like a capital G, a seven, and like a theta or something. I don't know. Let's go over to the seven, maybe. There's lots of books here. Wow. What is this? Whoa. This looks complicated. Oh, no. Let's read this. Instructions for Caesar cipher. Slide the second alphabet round according to the percentage number for each letter to an encipher a code. Reverse this process to decipher it. I mean, I've heard of a Caesar cipher. Let's see. So this is how it's encoded, I guess. A, B, C, D. Yes. Ah, this is the code, probably. Three blackstone, three andesite, and three diorite. Those aren't on here. That resets it, okay. And we also have lots of blocks we can place. On here, wait. We can place them on petrified oak slab. Where are the petrified... Oh, these are petrified oak slabs. I mean, I see like the, now the red one is equal to the Perismarine, but like what is the code I need to decipher? I have no idea. This is just a complete alphabet, which is probably just all the blocks in here. Looks like it. Yeah, then we get back to the beginning again. All right, I don't know. Let's look at the other ones first. Let's go over to this one. These books are classified. They're protected by an electric force field. We need to shut it down in order to get to the other side. By electrically charging the arrows, we might be able to hit the target boxes on the other side. See, this is what I can do. Just hit some targets. That wasn't even close. What is happening to my arrows? Oh, look at that. If I shoot it like up there... Yeah, it changes direction after it hits the field. Got it. Let's just shoot a couple. Yes, got him. Okay, good. It turns off the lights as well. Yes. Okay, this one seems rather difficult. The small one. Oh, got him. Just two more then, I suppose. Yes. Okay, that seems like a pretty tricky one. I think we have to aim very high. Okay, you really have to aim high. Wow. Yes! 
And it goes away and we can move over here. Okay, we figured this one out at least. What do we have? Lever. Ah, and look at this. Ah, this is the code. Look at this. This is the code we will need. So we'll have to do the other three rooms first and then we can do the room I went into first. Of course, I went to the wrong room first. How did I do that? All right, let's go into this one now. Is it a piston puzzle? It's a piston puzzle, but there's also a fox. That's, that's not a piston puzzle, is it? Oh, I'm gonna have to like lead a chicken over to somewhere, right? This seems like an end point. But there's no way for me to... Right, I don't have an item for them to catch on. Because there's an emerald block over here. There's a redstone block over here. And the pistons don't seem to do anything. Okay, let... oh, there's a button. There's the chicken. How do I make the chicken move somewhere? Come on. Move. There's another button. There we go. There are the seeds that we needed. Okay. So I feel like we need to go to the diamond block. Only <laughs> all the foxes are over there. So that's going to be slightly tricky. I feel like pretty much all the paws are blocked. This is like Pac-Man. Go, go, go. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, this is going to be tricky. I already know it. The beginning is easy because there are no foxes here, but all the foxes are over here. No? Oh? What? I just did that in one go? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> that was probably way too easy, but hey, we did it anyway. And here's the second part of the code as well. All right, let's go to the third puzzle. Let's go. Should have called this a puzzle map, not an adventure map. What? Oh, or a parkour map, apparently. We're back for more parkour. Although this doesn't seem very difficult so far. But it might be eating my words in a second, who knows. Alright, we're doing very well. Yes, this is all doable. Look at that, those are easy jumps. I shouldn't have said anything, should I? Ah, no, that's fine. That's fine as well. Oh, ah, there's probably a checkpoint, right? Yeah, look at that. There's a checkpoint, of course. There's a che Just kill me, why don't you? <laughs> what? I was impaled on a stalagmite? What? How is that possible? And why is this jump so difficult? And why do I keep dying? There we go, finally. Okay. Oh, there was another jump. Now I know why I wasn't impaled by stalagmites. Come on. Oh, this is slow and painful. Oh, I have to do this again. Okay. Let's not just jump in there this time. No! Yes! Got it. Okay. Hey! And we have the third puzzle done. Just to be sure, we'll take a screenshot of this. We'll probably take screenshots of all of them. Ah, no, there we go. We got not that great of a checkpoint, but let's go. Let's do the last puzzle over there with the Caesar cipher. All right. So let's see what we have. It probably starts with the diorite ones, which is so for diorite we have blue wool then like gray grayish wool so l x and then b then next is the andesite which was purple so p light gray w and stone v and then the black stone was purple so p once again then z and L. L, X, B, P, W, V, P, Z, L. All right. Now, is this seven a hint? Because slide the second alphabet round according to the presented number for each letter. Wait, wait, wait. Let me try something. L is the 12th letter of the alphabet. So let's press this one 12 times. Well, 12 times further than that one, I suppose. That wouldn't make sense though. Let's try the seven. Because I have a feeling that just might be it. It would just be like go seven back here, right? Or fr or in front, whatever. Let's try it. So EQ. Okay, this doesn't seem right. Wait, maybe it doesn't need to get something in words. Because we just have to place them down. Uh, okay, let's just try something. Let's just try this one seven in front. It's probably the other way around though. Uh, I don't know. Mm, let's see. Let's do these ones first. So purple would become one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Light gray. This probably isn't it, but okay. Okay, this is probably not gonna be it, but here we go. Yeah, I expected that. I'm confused. Let me try it the other way around, maybe. Okay, here we go. Come on. 
It is. Oh, okay, I was correct. At least I heard a sound, so I suppose it worked. Let's go. Yeah, that was a little bit odd, but it was indeed the, the 7 and then just decoding the cipher thing. What? Do we need to like press the button or something? Oh, there's a lever. Well, I'm stupid. <laughs> there we go. Now we can go back here. And let's see where this takes us. Oh, down this ladder. Okay. Goodbye, puzzle room. Hello, new room. Oh, that's not much of a room. But... Hey, we have a ghost duel though. What? What? No! I didn't even open the door! <laughs> no! Make sure you keep him locked up for the time being. I've already notified the queen. The official is on the way. Don't worry, this is the most secure prison in the entire kingdom. There's absolutely no chance that he's escaping until a government official arrives. Good, I'm sure the queen will be pleased. But how about... you know who? Where are they? I'm not sure, they seem to have disguised themselves. We'll need to track them down as soon as possible. Now if you'll excuse me, I have some more paperwork to do. The entire kingdom has been in chaos now that almost all springs are detached. I need to get out of here. Maybe I can climb into that vent using those loose bricks in the wall. Wow. I think we just got caught stealing something. <laughs> I, I, I think that's pretty much what just happened. Alright, yeah, so we're locked in. Is that something I'm using these stones? Can I just, like... <laughs> oh, I, I can stand on top of the stones. Okay. So a button that does absolutely nothing. <laughs> if I shift on this, what happens? Oh, I'm just lying down. <laughs> well, that is strange. There's also a button above me. Ah, the trap door. Oh, that is tricky. I'm in the air. I don't know what I'm standing on. I got it. I got in. I got in. Okay. I can't see anything though. Please light. Whoa! Oh, I get teleported up here. Okay, let's continue. I can almost reach the lever. No. Wait, what? Okay, I have to reach the lever apparently. <laughs> what? There's a block that teleports above me if I sneak. <gasps> no! I got it! Okay, got it, got it, got it. Let's go back then, right? Because now the door is open. Okay, back into our cell. Here we go. And we're out. Look at us escaping like true prison escapees. I don't know. <laughs> oh, there's also guards. Okay. Hello. I don't have any bobbins anymore. Oh, there's more prisoners as well. Why did you imprison a strider? What is this? Okay, nothing I can do here. Oh, that's that's too many people. Uh, anything over here? Screwdriver. Okay, <laughs> found another screwdriver. There's some clothes. Can I take this? Yes. Is this my screwdriver or is this like... Okay, I don't know. Let's move on. Oh, let's go. Diamond chest plate. No! I can only take the middle guy stuff. Ah, that's annoying. Thought I could get some easy diamond armor there. Where are we now? More guards. Lots of guards, actually. Hello. Can I take your stuff? No. Can ring the bell, though. And yes, I will destroy the place by opening all of these trapdoors. Can't open any of the cells either. We're definitely looking for something. Okay, I literally see nothing in this entire... Oh, I can just open this door with... This. Okay. Yeah, I knew that. I can just open the door with a screwdriver. Okay. Oh, what's this? Police chief, how is this possible? Now I understand how you've wrecked havoc throughout the entire kingdom. But it doesn't matter, you will not proceed beyond this point. Look, it's nothing personal, but I need to get out of this prison of yours. Oh, don't get me wrong, I might be the police chief, but I do not own this prison. The warden. I suppose I'll see you here more often. Behind bars. Alright, okay. The warden is in the game! Oh no. Okay, let's get these guys. These very official looking police guards that die really easily, apparently. Hello. A key! It's labeled as container key. I can probably open one of the cage containers with it. What is this? Cannon.zip can be placed on uh, iron block. Where is there an iron block? Up here? What? <laughs> what is this? Vertical, vertical iron bars? That's not possible. Oh, okay. Create a cannon, why don't you? Alright, let's kill these guys. They die in like one hit. I will probably die in like one hit as well. Don't get the pearl back though, that's a little bit sad. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Oh, or maybe? There's also more barrels, I've noticed. There's a barrel up here. More arrows. There's another barrel up there. Even more arrows, okay. Oh! Okay, <laughs> sure. I also don't know why I need arrows if I don't, like, have a bow. Okay, I'm definitely gonna die here. 
Just do it. Yeah, okay. Ooh, there are cops. Wait, what? That's also... No! That brings me back to wave one? What? I need to pay attention to my health then. Wow. I feel like I should have, like, received, like, a, a god weapon of a bow. I'll see you back when I get back. Okay, look at this. Now I'm doing something smart. I have now the crystal crush here in my offhand, which gives me two extra hearts. I can still attack them with my normal sword. Okay, got him. Got another cannonball. Let's first eat. Make sure we're healed all the way back up. Okay, and go. Okay, one more wave. Oh, that's a lot of guys. Let's lead these over here first with the bats. And then go for the ones with the bows. Because they are definitely the most deadly. Got him. Okay, here we go. I think we got it. The warden should be gone. Here we go. Whoa. Yep. He's defeated. My armor is also almost defeated. Wow. My boots broke even. <laughs> He's just laying here now. Hello. Anything in your eyes? No. Be the perfect place to hide something. Okay. Well, let's move over here. Teleport. Okay, there we go. An open field, and even better, a port town. I could use a ship from this port town to get to the ocean state, my final checkpoint before the capital. Whoa, I think we took a little detour here. <laughs> so we're over here now, I suppose. What do we have here? Wanted, dangerous con artist spotted in the area. I'm sorry, did this completely destroy your beautiful chair? <gasps> no, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't, no, no, sorry. There's a fishing rod. There's less books in this one? It's a loom. What? And that's so cool. <laughs> nice extra detail. I see it. someone over here. Why, hello there, traveler. Would you be interested in some magic crystals? <laughs> wait a sec. Wait a second. <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> hmm. Why is there a swag in here? And why is he called salesman? I mean, it starts with an S as well. <laughs> what's, what's this? Magic what? <laughs> there are only one diamond each. <laughs> well, I don't see... I don't... Or would you be interested in a lifetime supply of the best magical food in the land? Well, I don't have any emeralds at the moment, sorry. And how about a lifetime subscription of magic food for your so... I mean, your friendship. Deal? Yes? <gasps> magic food! We have magic food! Can we steal some more stuff from uh, Scar? Mm, no? Make us swag and do things though. I put, I put the magic food in his item frame. Okay. Okay, there's just like a, a whole lot of nothing in this village so far. I mean, we probably need to go over to the ship, right? Is this about score? Maybe. <gasps> What's this? Ship steering wheel. Well, that seems slightly important. Oh, I'm gonna have to, have to go through all these barrels, haven't I? Yep. Ship sail. How is the ship sail in just a single barrel here? Okay. Bye, gloss. <laughs> Oh, hello? What is this? Oh, you're, you're not friendly. You're not, you're definitely not friendly. Nope. And you do a lot of damage. You definitely do. What? You get teleported back if you fall in the water. Okay, got him. Also, bell. Wait, they would have become visible or like get an outline if I did that, right? Oh, no, he definitely didn't get visible. What's in here? Oh, a mast. I feel like there has to be something like on the front. Wait, there's... He's in the water. I can't get him there, right? I can because there's an anvil. Yes. <laughs> to the smaller ship and prepare it. My best guess. Steering wheel. Aha. Uh -huh. Can be placed on block of coal. Aha. Uh -huh. And can be placed on jungle fence. Are you ready to raise the anchor? I, I mean, I think so. I think I got everything. Went through all the houses. Got everything we need. Yes! Here we go. We're sailing. Apparently. Okay, where are we now? Wait, there's another ship over here. I mean, we can look on the map, right? Doesn't say where we are. I mean, before we go explore this, we have to go look at the... We can't go in the ships. There has to be a secret on the end here, though. Yes, there's a secret here. Come on. There's definitely not a secret here. I feel like I'm expecting too many secrets everywhere. Here we go. Let's go into the temple. I don't know why, but here we are. Woo! Okay, this is actually pretty cool. We got the effect. Oh, oh no. What is this? Help? Stress? No, wait. We have the conduit power. Relax. We have all the time we need. What do we have? We have piston puzzle underwater. What does this do? Okay. Water. What does this do? Retract. Retract. I'm not so sure that will do. Well, that looks correct. 
I don't know. I don't know what they want me to do. Wait, I know. The water has to go all the way to the end, right? Oh no. No! Please! Uh, I think the puzzle is broken. Because this one shouldn't be down. Look, it spawns up there. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, that's better. So, what needs to happen... Okay... This one needs to fall down first. There we go. And then this one. Now we got it, right? Yes! Okay, we figured one of the puzzles out. Now this one. This one should be easier because there's only two things I can do. Okay, so this one does the block there. This one does that. It has to go all the way up there? Oh, I know. I think I know. Look, now we can make this one... Yes, color type. Now we can push it out further, right? Yes! Now we can get more water. Yes. Push it further. Okay, I think we got it. Really good puzzle, actually. At least... No, why is it not working anymore? Wait, there's no there's no more blocks there. Eh? Huh? We need one more, right? Like two more, even. Oh, I know. I'm doing it wrong. Okay, no, I have honestly no idea. Look, now there are five. No, there, there are six. They would have been, this would have been enough. But I feel like there's one, like one breaking at some point. But no, no, I just have four. Why is it not? Wait, this upper one is causing it. But how would you stop that? Do you just have to be fast? Oh, I feel like you just have to be fast. Let's try it. go. That has to be it, right then? Okay, one more. Come on. Get this one. And... <gasps> yes! I mean, it should just work now, right? Just do this. Yes! Oh, that was... that took way too long. Ah! <laughs> Okay, the door opened. Nice. We're just lockpicking the door. That was tricky. <gasps> is this another god weapon? I said, is this another... another god... Is this... It, it's not another god weapon. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was. Oh, it is! Poseidon Strident. Wait, this is my grandfather's Strident. It got lost after his death along with his other weapons. So here it was. Aha! Uh -huh. Need to grab the Trident before continuing. Wait, this seems familiar. Last time these had names of people. Oh, they don't. I am gonna die, though. Okay, yeah. Let's do the same thing as last time and just swim through. Ah, we can't swim through. What's in here? Just a breather? Why couldn't you give me the conduit effect here? Oh, there's way too many of them. What? 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 Can I not do it from here? This seems like a whole lot safer. I think I got them all. Oh, wait, I could have just swam through. Uh, I can't see anything. Wow. But we can probably just swim right through, I think. Because, yeah, we didn't kill every single one here. Oh, it's up here. Oh, yes. Down here. Oh, no, I'm drowning. Over here. There isn't any air. Whoa. Got it. Where are we now? Oh. Well, this seems rather ominous. No, it's Svi! Svi, there you are. I don't think Svi is, like, kind or anything, but here we go. What a surprise. I'm so happy to see you, Maximian the Vijfde. You know, I was on my way to save you from that prison when I thought I'd discuss a few things on the way with our friend here, the Eldest Guardian. The Eldest Guardian is also tired of being suppressed by the Nature Queen and he'll hopefully help us defeat her. Hold on. You're with this human who forced his way into my sacred monument? Oh, great, Eldest Guardian. I think this is all just a big mess on... This is your great plan? A human? Not only did he just somehow force his way through the toughest door in Guardian history and attack my guards, but he also did steal the weapon bestowed upon me from my ancestors. This is my grandfather's trident. Hold on, you're the descendant of that human? 
Not only did he have the audacity to steal it once, but now his ascendant also steals it? On second thought, you have done most of the work for me, destroying all the beacon springs. I suppose I'll just kill you, destroy the lost beacon spring, kill an ancient queen, and take the throne of the kingdom for myself. It's like you said, you've become weak guardian of balance. You're barely at the level of a demigod like me. There is no more negotiating possible, and like he said, I have indeed grown weak. You'll need to destroy them. Oh, what? We can't defeat it like this. I'll get back up. All you have to do is stay and survive. How? I mean, <laughs> I'm just circling a pillar right now. It seems to be working though. Oh, no. I've had enough of stinking humans like you. What have I ever done to you? Apart from stealing and breaking in and doing all these other things. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's got a reason, I guess. I'll do take revenge for the sins your family has done to us. Okay, good luck. Not doing so well myself either, but okay. You're trapped, little mouse. Did you call me a mouse? Wait, what's that? What's happening? Can't see anything. Here's the backup. Well done holding out. Now let's help our axolotl friends, shall we? There's axolotls. Look at this. Let's leave. Okay, let's not leave. Axolotls help. I... Well, I... Mm. That, that wasn't the best. I made an advancement. The healing power of friendship. Just have the eldest guardian left, right? Oh, he's locked onto me. Oh, that's gonna... Oh, that only did like two hearts. Oh, there's the extra little leader. He's almost dead anyway. There we go. We did it. I suppose it wasn't such a good guy after all. Now let's destroy the beacon spring and finish it once and all. We can leave through the hole. I mean, I wanted to do that before already, but of course we need to destroy the beacon here first. It's taking rather a long time. Okay. On. Almost there. And... Yes, got him. And let's leave. There we go. I think we got all the beacons now. Just the nature queen left. Where are we now? Wait, we have Spy back. Yes, amazing. Let's check the map. The map has not updated. Okay, continue on then. Seems like something new. Well, pff, now the map has updated. <laughs> wow, is that the nature queen's castle? Indeed, it's the biggest city in the kingdom and unsurprisingly the capital of it. I've been here on occasions. My grandfather said he had felt an ominous presence when he approached the corruption king, but I feel the kind of opposite. Like I'm being drawn towards it, it feels warm, yet also kind of sad somehow. The nature queen has an effect on everything and everyone around it. It's a form of hypnosis, so don't drown yourself in the feeling or you'll find yourself under her control. Hmm, I must admit, I expected more resistance than this. They even left the door open. Can't help but feel like this could be a trap. Nah, probably not. Beautiful gate, by the way. Yeah, definitely a trap. Oh well, we cannot turn back now. Seems like they really were expecting us to set up an electric gate. Even I can blast through that, especially in my current condition. What is wrong with you, Spy? Oh, all the way over there. I feel like there's gonna be like a big wave fight. I have collected some stuff from our journey. We can use it to build a weapon. Okay, build, B build, what? Just says build, I clicked it, nothing happened. Let's go over here. Can I like do anything here? Hey look, that moved the crane used for constructing the gate. We might be able to use it against it, if only it was notched a bit further. Probably the other lever on the other side? I don't know what it wants to build though. We also have Dolphin's Grace, which I don't think that's gonna help us too much. There's also Ghost Jewel. Perfect, we could shoot charge at the rope. What charge? What rope? What is happening? I'm so confused. Wait. I just had to click it multiple times to build this. Perfect, we could shoot the charge at the rope. Now get up, uh, up to the podium. Up here? Up. Uh, well, failed on that task. Oh, try aiming at the big electrical thingy sticking out of the side of the electric gate. I just threw my weapon down. How do I shoot? Ah, there we go. Whoa! He needs these then, right? Some guards have arrived to feed them. Okay, this is incredible. Oh, yeah, my weapon, my weapon. I also have the trident still, right? Use that. Oh, the vexes. Why vexes? I mean, these are not too tough. There's not too many either. I'm guessing there are gonna be more. Look out! The moss is now charged. Standing on it will... It won't be pleasant, to say the least. Those trees are the generators. Maybe we can steal some of that energy from each tree to power our weapon. Alright, this has suddenly become a parkour. Let's go over to the tree then. Hmm. Okay, let's try not to jump off. Whoa. Okay, that's really scary. Aha. Uh -huh. No, well, I got it though, right? Weird effect that happens there though. Looks really strange. Where's your charge? Oh, up here. There we go. I mean, the best way to just get back is to die, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's go with this one. There's more scary, like, jaws over here, but... 
We're probably gonna need every single one of these. How did I not get hit there? What? Okay, and the final one. And there we go. Oh, wait, the, the moth is not charged anymore. Okay, nice. So I guess we can shoot again. Okay, and go! And more guards. Okay, I guess the same thing will just repeat over and over. Probably four times. Uh, there's just more guards now. Okay, great. You guys gonna come down or...? He is. Let's get the guards first. Yeah, that's enough. Okay. Let's get all the charges back. Wait a second. How did I, how did I get the ghost jewel? That is really odd. <laughs> I just want to bar core over to this tree. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go. This time I have an open hand, so now... Seamless! Okay. Probably same thing again. Okay, we definitely have to kill a couple of factions at least. Oh, there we go, that's enough. Just one more time getting on the piece, and then we should be there. Alright, got them all. Go back, there's, there's still a Vex there. Oh. Oh no. I threw away my spy glass. But there we go, the gate is gone. Uh, now through the door is the Nature Queen. It is not over yet. Here we go. Let's go over to the Nature Queen. Bam! It's over, Nature Queen. Exactly, your time of tyranny is over. I do not have the strength left. You have ravaged through my land, destroyed my beacon springs, and devastated the entire kingdom. I will save the world, just like my grandfather, who you killed. It seems I'm not the only one that has been blind towards a true evil. It's Svi. It's Svi. No, I was not the one who killed your grandfather. Wait, what do you mean? Do you know who is the one that you brought with you? You mean... Svi, I knew it! I said it! <laughs> well, I really do appreciate everything you've done for me, Maximian V. He is not the guardian of balance. He is the Void Lord. Ruler of the end, and you have given him all the tools he needs to take over everything. Void Lord? Where is he? Oh, here he is. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Void Lord. That damn grandfather of yours accidentally took a share of the god power when he defeated the Corruption King. I would have been able to kill the Nature Queen right then and there. He found out about me and when I killed him, he almost took me with him. A human. You lied to me this entire time? I mean, he was very suspicious. You were just as easily manipulated as your grandfather, but now I won't make the same mistake twice. I will kill the Nature Queen myself. What? Uh, uh, you have depleted your usefulness. Both of you will die here. You, you, you and your abilities are the only hope for saving the world. I will grant you my last of my power before it is too late. Undo your roarings, take back the land and return the daylight. To be continued, that's it. Okay, that was a lot of text suddenly, but here we go. Wow. There is the Smicklar. Pray to the Smicklar. Thanks for playing. Part 2 will go into production when 1.19 releases. Until then, you can enjoy this lovely cake. The cake is not a lie, but I can't eat it though. Book that was very useful during production. Feel free to look at the redstone builds. Mapmaker's book. Whoa. That's awesome. We did it! We beat Flourishing Moss! That's incredible. Woo. Woo. Yeah, wow, that was an incredible map. Thank you so much, Smigar, for creating this beautiful map. There was there has to be so much work gone into this map. Like, it was incredible. There were so many like redstone and oh look at this. What? Look at how much how many command blocks are here. I have no idea what this all is. I mean, I know a little bit about command blocks, but this is just incredible. There's another layer? What? Yeah, incredible map. Rated like 9.5 out of 10. I mean, excited to see what the third part will be. Where we have to defeat the, the Void. What was it? The Void Lord? Yes. I called it. That fly was <laughs> evil. Like at the start, at the very, very start of the map, I said, hmm, he seems a little bit evil. And he was. But yeah, that was incredible. Storytelling was incredible. The map was incredible. Puzzles were super well made and really fun to do. Thank you so much. Very dramatic music. Thank you so much to Smikalar for creating this map and also for being a tier 3 member to this channel. I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you so much.
I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then please make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. And then if you also want to become a member, click the blue join button the video to check out the different tiers. But there we go. Hope you all enjoyed this video and this little series. And I hope to see you all in the next video. So until then. Bye-bye.